Let's talk about why you're not getting as much as you'd like out of your computer science or programming classes. Welcome back everybody. Today I wanted to talk about a complaint that I hear fairly frequently from students and that is specifically, oh, I don't get anything out of that lecture. And of course there might be a few different reasons why this is the case, but since I have to listen to the complaints, I thought we'd take just a second and talk about maybe one reason why you might not be getting as much out of class as you'd like. But before we get into it, I also wanted to just give a big thanks to all of you who helped support this channel, make it possible for me to do what I'm doing. I really appreciate it. Also, if you're new and you're not sure how to support the channel, please check me out on Patreon where you can get access to source code from all my videos as well as uh, access to my monthly office hours, which I hold on Discord. Okay, so back to the common gripe of unproductive class time, which as I mentioned, I hear all the time from students. And of course, there are a bunch of different reasons why this might be the case. Maybe you have a poor lecturer, someone who just stands up there and in a monotone voice, just reads slides at you while you just fall asleep. Yeah, trust me, I feel your pain. But of course, there's not much I can do about your instructor. And so today I wanna to focus on things that you can do. Also, if you seem to be understanding things, if like in the moment you think I'm getting this, this is fine, but then afterwards when you actually try to use it, you're having a hard time, then that may have to do with how you're actually practicing, how you're studying. You may be using passive methods rather than active methods. So that may be an issue dealing with what you're doing after class, like right after class. Of course, it's also possible that you're in the wrong class, so check your schedule. Because look, there's a lot of different reasons that you might not be having a really great experience in a class, but one of those reasons might be what you're doing right before class. And so that's what I wanted to talk about today. Because it is a truth universally acknowledged that professors assign readings and students don't read them, right? I can feel the eye rolls already. I mean, why read the 25 boring textbook pages that Dr. Sorber assigned you when you know we're just gonna go over it in class just a day later, I mean, right? And of course, it's so difficult to get students to do readings before class that some instructors just give up on readings altogether while others have pop quizzes and they'll actually test you on the readings and well, that's kind of mean. And it might also be a little counterproductive, I'm really not sure. But the point is, is that to a lot of students, the readings, doing readings before class seems like a waste of time, and I get it. But stick with me. Because there might be a reason to all the madness, and it might actually be worth doing if you do it the right way. So there's a saying that I've heard psychology and education researchers throw around over the years, and that is that you can't learn what you don't already know, or my preferred version, which is you can't learn something that you don't almost already know. And the idea is that you can stretch your mind a lot over time, but you're only gonna be able to stretch your mind so much in one sitting or one class period, one lecture. So if you sit down in my class and say, today we're gonna to talk about kernel organization or threads or concurrency or locks or semaphores or condition variables, there is a chance that as I'm presenting this material, both because I've got to cover it, but also because I'm just really enthusiastic about this topic, it's possible that I'm going to move faster than you're able to digest the material. Especially if you're totally unprepared, if you don't know anything about it beforehand, it's brand new, it's gonna take it a little while to sink in. And in my classes, I do try to circle back periodically. I try to do activities and things like that to give it time to sink in, to allow people to catch up if they fall a little behind but we all learn at different rates. We all digest new information at different rates. And so inevitably at some point, this is still gonna happen. But there is one thing that I notice all of my best students seem to do, and that is they prepare for class. Now, that they don't just passively read word for word all of the information that I give them. I mean, they're busy, right? I get it. And so instead what they usually do is they skim the material. You know, maybe there's 25 pages of reading, they skim through it really quickly. And what they're really looking for is to just get a big picture idea of what are the ideas that we're going to be looking at? What are the main topics? What are the, what are the new terms? What are the things that we're gonna to try to wrap our heads around? And so during this preparation time, these ideas start to sink in. They start to digest them a little bit before they actually talk about them with me. And of course, they may still have questions. In fact, they usually do. But when we start discussing it, they have a distinct advantage over their classmates because they've already started to process and understand this information. While the rest of their classmates are hearing about it for the very first time, they already almost understand what I'm talking about. And so they spend the class asking questions, usually really good questions, clarifying questions, and trying to, trying to work through examples and think through this new information because they already have a framework for it 
while the rest of their classmates are just barely making space in their brains to try to you know, figure out what this new information even is. So the rest of the classmates, their clarifying questions are going to show up later. They're going to show up either at the beginning of the next lecture when we're about to dive into yet another new idea, or it's going to show up in office hours, or it's going to show up when they start a homework assignment that they don't know how to do. And the students that did the preparation before class, they're already done. So folks, this may or may not be your issue, but I do hope it helps some of you out there. It is amazing how much a little preparation, a little pre-thinking before you try to learn something new can make in how fast you digest things and how well you understand it and how much you get out of your classes when you are trying to digest new material. So best of luck. Good luck in all of those classes. I hope you get more out of them after today, and I'll see you next week.